Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us again in this series, Optics Converging Lenses. So previously, we introduced thin lens terminology and sign convention in one of the videos. Another one, we analyzed the image of an object outside the focal point using two techniques, ray tracing and thin lens equation. This is algebra-based, and the uh, ray tracing is basically you trace rays, geometry based. Um, then we analyzed, we did the same for an object inside the focal point. And now we're going to do some problems, you know, and solve some problems. So uh, before we begin, please uh, like, subscribe, and share across your social media platforms. So let's begin. So here's the first problem. So we're given a uh, Two centimeter tall object, 45 centimeters away from a converging lens. And uh, the lens has a 15 centimeter focal length. Describe the image. In other words, is it upright? Is it inverted? Is it real? Is it virtual? And if it's magnified, by how much? Okay, so let's begin. So Basically, the scenario we we could we could summarize or just give a little bit of a picture of. So we have converging lens. Here are the focal uh, points. An object sits here. From the second video in the series, we know the image is going to sit somewhere over here on the other side of the lens, inverted and real. Okay, so that's from video number two. So now let's let's see exactly what we get. So again, we are given the O is 45 centimeters. The height of the object is two centimeters. The focal length is positive because this is a converging lens of 15 centimeters. So we need to find the image distance, and the magnification, okay? So let's begin. So the thin lens equation is one over di plus one over do is one over f. We bring do over, one over di is one over f minus one over do, get a common denominator. Basically we multiply these two and then we cross multiply this way. So one over di, do times f, and here we'll have do minus f. And solve for di. So we flip these two, if you flip this fraction, we have to flip this one. So di is do times f over do minus f. And now we plug numbers in, okay? So do is 45 times 15 over 45 minus 15. Don't go multiplying these because things will simplify soon. So that's 45 times 15 over 30. Okay. So let me see. This and that will cancel out. Give me a two down here, the one up here, and we'll have 45 over two, which is 22.5. And now centimeters. As you can see, I did not carry the centimeters throughout because if DO and F are in centimeters, the I is going to come out in centimeters. Okay. So there is the I right here. Okay. So it came out positive. That means since the I greater than zero. Again, according to the sign convention, 
we adopted from the first video, the i is greater than zero, means that the image is uh, is real. Okay, real image, and inverted. This will be verified more in the magnification. Okay. So we got the image distance and we got its type. So now let's look at the magnification. Okay. So M is given as negative di over do or hi over ho. So we need to get the height of the image. And now that we know what di and do, uh, well, we know what do was, but now that we know what di is, we can easily find the height of the image. So we go ahead and set these two equal to each other, right? I mean, we can get the magnification separately. Let's just get it separately. M equals negative di over do. Negative di was 45 over 2 over do, which is 45, which gives me negative a half, which means the image is inverted and then half its original height half as high as the other one, okay? In other words, how high is it? Let's go ahead and now use this right here. M is also HI over HO. So HI is M times HO, negative a half times two, and that's going to give me negative one centimeters. Again, the negative, means inverted and one centimeters uh, tall, okay? So this is the thin lens equation analysis of this problem. Now here we could go and do the ray tracing. And remember the three principal rays, the first one, is the parallel goes through the focal length, the second one through the vertex or the center and then goes out unbent, third one through the focal point comes out parallel and it sits over here. Again, roughly 22.5 if each square here is basically uh, three, so it's, it's five, so 20, 22.5. And roughly one centimeter in height, inverted and real. Okay? That's the ray tracing, supports the thin lens equation. So let's do problem number two. Okay. So we're given now the power, um, the power of the lens. Huh? which again is given in diopters and the diopter is basically one over a meter. So the power is five diopters, but the power also is equal to one over the focal length, okay? So once we get the power of the lens, we know the focal length because now F, if you solve this equation, F equals one over the power or one over five or 0 0.2 meters. I have to remember now, whenever we go in between focal length and power, the power comes out in diopters and the focal length has to be in meters, okay? Which we can easily change to 20 centimeters. So we are given the focal length. That's the first thing we know. Now, forms a real image 40 centimeters away from the lens. So we are given the eye right away. Right? 
what is the object's location? So I am looking for D sub O. And then what is the magnification? I'm looking for little m. So here's what's given. And here's, we need these, okay? So let's solve it again first using the thin lens equation. And then we'll go on to ray tracing. So again, we're looking for DO, giving the I enough. Let us use the uh, uh, thin lens equation. So one over DO plus one over DI is one over F. Bring the I over because put all the knowns on one side, the unknown on the other side, one over DO was one over F minus one over DI. So one over DO equals, again, multiply these two, and then cross multiply here. So we got F times DI, and here DI minus F. Flip to find DO. F times DI over DI minus F. Well, now we plug numbers in. And it's always good to do the algebra first before plugging numbers in. That way, in case there's a mistake, it's easy to follow the algebra, correct your mistake, versus when numbers get multiplied, they lose their individual, you know, terms that or factors that multiply them. So it's easier, again, to go back and check your work if you just keep the algebra, then plug numbers in. So now let's plug them in. So we have 20. Again, don't multiply yet, times 40 over 40 minus 20. Well, again, 20 times 40 over 40 minus 20 is just 20. So the 20 cancels out leaves me with 40 centimeters. Again, I did not carry the centimeters because if F is in centimeters, DI is in centimeters, DO is going to come out in centimeters. So we got it to be 40 centimeters. Okay? That is D sub O. Now for magnification, is negative DI over DO is negative 40 over four, I'm gonna put centimeters here, but they're gonna cancel out. So negative one. So it is the same height, the same uh, height uh, but inverted. So it's uh, the image is inverted. So if the image is pointing down, the object will be pointing up. They're opposite to each other. And again, from the first video, the convention is objects start off as <clears throat> pointing up to the left side of the lens. And now we take it from there. Okay, and that defines the positive. Okay, so this is the magnification, it's negative one. In other words, just opposite direction to the, um, the the object and the image are opposite to each other, the way they're pointing, but the same line. And, and this one is verified right here with the um, uh, ray diagram. So here is the first ray. Again, parallel goes to the focal uh, point. <clears throat> uh, Green goes through un uninterrupted, and then the orange goes through the focal point, comes out parallel. Every unit here is five, so one, two, three, four puts me at the fo first focal point. Then one, two, three, four, here's at 40 centimeters, and here's at 40 centimeters. So this is basically the O, and this is the I, obviously. This is F. Okay. It came out just perfect. So the way we did this, we said, okay, if this work is correct and the object is at 40 centimeters, 
with this focal length, which is basically 20 centimeters, where will the image be? And the image landed exactly at the 40 centimeter mark, which is what was given to begin with, okay? So we computed DO and we verified where the image is gonna be using ray tracing. All right, and this is it for this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time. And we're gonna do more exercises in the next video. Again, thank you.